By late 1968, the Doughboys were no more. The band's members, both past and present, had gone their separate ways. Some of the former members would play together again in various configurations. In 1969, Richie Heyman and Mike Scavone and Mike Caruso formed Cool Heat. They toured consistently. Heyman and Willie Kirchhofer formed the Queen Names Band in 1970, and in 1975, Scavone, Kirchhofer and Heyman played together in a group called Act Your Rage. The group boldly featured a new type of stage presence with their wild, teased-up hair and thick female makeup. As the 1960s came to an end, Mike Caruso worked as a session bassist for renowned producers Bo Gentry and Kenny Laguna. Mike Scavone recorded a single on Epic Records working extensively with Gentry and drummed for the very famous producers Cazanets and Cats. Scavone's big break, however, came when he was asked to be the frontman of Ram Jam, who, in 1977, scored a top 10 hit with the smash hit Black Betty. Heyman found work in various bands and also as a drummer for notable artists like Link Ray and the Beach Boys' Brian Wilson. Independent projects became a large part of life for the former Doughboys for the better part of 20 years. Uh, when I was in Ram Jam, which, you know, we had an international hit record, I was never as happy as I should have been with that band because I always wished it was the Doughboys. And a lot of it had to do with Richie. In 1988, Heyman recorded 14 songs in the home studio of a friend. He self-released the album under the title Living Room. Amazingly, even though it had no record label push, the record received rave reviews in Rolling Stone magazine. As Richard X. Heyman, through Cypress Sire Records and his own label, Heyman began a critically acclaimed solo career that continues to this day. Although decades had passed and their careers had moved in different directions, the Doughboys would soon experience a revival, one that was more than 30 years in the making.
Patrick Yoshi on the saxophone. John Hawkins, the amazing John Hawkins on the piano.